Uh, this is my first time on Periscope. I did, and the only reason I haven't done it is I didn't realize you could switch it so that you could actually show yourself talking. So I'm glad to see people have joined. Um, just as an introduction, uh, yeah, hi there. Hi, everybody. Hola. This is kind of cool. Uh, my name is Carrie Gans. Uh, I'm a dentist here in Garden City, New York. And uh, I happen to, uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, this is my uh, this is my first Periscope. And I'm not sure what I want to talk about. Uh, I'd be interested in uh, knowing who everybody is and, and what they what they'd like to learn about. But uh, once again, I'm a dentist, but I'm also very internet savvy. I've been on the internet for many years, and I thought what I would do is uh, really chat about what dentistry is all about today, because dentistry has changed dramatically over the years, and I think that there's lots of misconceptions about where dentistry is going, and um, what's really happening with the dental profession. You see, dentistry years ago when I first started, and I've been doing this a long time, dentistry was a pr true profession. Um, dentists were private fee for service. You know, they cared about their patients, and patients cared about their dentists. It was a very unique relationship. Today, that's changing, and many patients don't realize it. Um, they just don't understand that, for the most part, uh, dentistry today is very insurance based, and there's a lot of corporate dentistry coming on board, where corporations will dictate who and what you do and how you practice and you know, what you say and what you do. So, I think the patients need to understand that. And that if we're, same thing's happening in medicine. If you've uh, had to go to a physician recently, uh, chances are that physician either belongs to a medical group located through a hospital, or they're part of some local corporate, corporate group. Here on Long Island, Long Island, we have something called Pro Health, which is um, you know, basically a corporate way of controlling medicine. And lots of physicians join because they have no choice. It's very difficult to compete with them. And most of the physicians I know are not happy with it because they dictate to a tremendous degree what you can do and how you can do it. I'll give you a good example. I have a friend who's a physician. Why dentists charge so much and why don't the final bill up front? Um, you want to know the truth? That should never happen. One, charging too much is a relative term, so I can't explain what that means. And um, you know, We all determine what our fees are based upon the service we provide. But I can tell you as a, a dentist for over 40 years, I have never treated a patient where they didn't know what the final bill would be, their final fee would be for the treatment we provide. Now, sometimes there are things that pop up that we just don't, we can't predict. You know, dentistry is not like building a car where you know where wire A is going to point B. You know, we deal with health. So sometimes things pop up that we can't, you know, we can't foresee. But for the most part, patients should never be treated, ever, without knowing what the fee is up front, because that is part of the process. There are always alternatives. So if a patient can't afford one type of treatment, there's always a way of doing something else. You know, there's, there's plan A and then there's always a plan B. So if you're currently being treated by a dentist and they don't provide you with a total treatment plan and a treatment plan fee, well, I would ask for it before you get anything else done. Now, you don't want to be surprised. Now, why is dentistry so expensive? It all depends on the quality of care that you want. You know, uh, it, like parachutes, you don't want the cheapest parachute. And I don't think you want the cheapest dentistry out there either. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, thanks, uh, thanks for the uh, for hanging out anyway. Uh, we'll catch you later. We'll do this fairly often. Now that I know I can do this, you know, I'm in my office today waiting for a patient to come in. It's a, an emergency, so I'm just sitting here. And I thought I'd try it. Uh, yeah, sure you can. You know, ortho. You know, in our office, we're here in, in Garden City, New York, and we do Invisalign. And uh, we provide, a, every patient knows exactly what the fee will be. I would never treat somebody. You now, I wouldn't want to be treated that way myself. I mean, why would I go ahead and go buy a car and not know what the cost is? You know, I mean, that's crazy. So not that dentistry is similar to a car, but, you, you know, it's, there's a cost attached to it. So you should never, never ask, uh, never feel, you know, shy about asking what the fee would be. No, well, they, they, there's, no, that's not true. You know, they, you know that there are a lot of upfront costs that the, you know, the front desk doesn't know about. Once again, unless it's an emergency treatment or something pops up that's unexpected, there was always a fee charged for a service. And whatever that service, whether that fee, whether that service is a crown or a filling or a denture or um, you know a, a health, you know a home care visit or a health care visit or a perio visit, orthodontics, there's a fee attached to it, and you are totally. Um, uh, you know, you should not feel shy about asking for that. Don't be silly. That's, you know, it's your money. And, uh, you know, it's the treatment that will be provided should be told to you up front, explained to you in detail, 
and then you decide whether that's something you want to do or not. If you can't afford it, you know, in, in our office we have lots of treatment plans. Ortho here estimated a fee but went over saying they didn't know how much my son's teeth would grow. Well, once again, there are unexpected consequences, unexpected things that do happen that can prolong treatment, that can cause things to change. I mean, once again, we're not dealing with building, you know, putting a car together or putting up, even if you're building a house, sometimes you know, unexpected things happen. You know, the, the, the wires don't go where they thought or there's a blockage somewhere. Um, so, you know, once again, you know, there are unexpected things that can happen. So you may get a fee for a specific service and then that may change over time. But once again, you should be made aware of the change. You should okay the change. It should not be something that comes to you as a surprise. How can braces fee vary? Braces fees depend upon the length of treatment, the complexity of the case, the, the type of treatment. Right now we have wired braces and we have um, you know, wireless braces, you know, like uh, Invisalign, OrthoSnap, ClearConnect. There are lots of ways of doing orthodontics today. And the fees vary. Fees vary by location, depending on where you're located. If you're located on the East Coast or West Coast, typically fees are going to be higher. You know, rents are higher, all the expenses are higher, staff salaries are higher. If you're in the middle of the country or in some place, some other place, fees may be somewhat lower. I mean, that's you know, that's just an issue we face with everything. You know, rent is different everywhere. What is the limit for braces for your age? There really is no limit. Now. Um, as far as they start braces for children very young today, it's called interceptive orthodontics. And very often that started when kids are very young. That's up to the orthodontist and you. As far as how old, we have patients right now we're treating in their 60s and 70s because they just want their mouth healthier, better looking, etc. Now braces aren't only used for, uh, for beauty. You know, it's a health related issue. Teeth are meant to function in a certain way and therefore sometimes you need to move the teeth into the correct position. So it doesn't relate necessarily to age. As long as you're healthy, as long as the bone around your teeth is, is, you know, is, is good, then there's no reason why you can't have braces almost at any age. The only thing that sometimes stops braces is if a child's too young, has too many baby teeth. Yeah, well, they don't necessarily help with periodontal disease, but what happens is if you don't put teeth in the right position, then uh, what happens is that the forces on the teeth, the way you bite, the, the pressure put on your teeth can cause additional problems. You want all teeth to hit at the same time, you want them to hit with the same force. You don't want to hit on one tooth harder than another because then the bone around that tooth can get weaker. And then you can have periodontal problems. Another thing is when you do move teeth, you want to move them relatively slowly. If you move them too quickly, you can cause bone problems and you can cause problems with the roots of teeth. So when you're doing orthodontics, you move teeth very slowly in a controlled manner and um, it'll, it definitely improves the health of your teeth. It does not hurt it. Now, it will not cure periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is a totally different issue. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate it, Roosevelt Davis. I appreciate your, your thoughts. I'll do this periodically. I, you know, I love answering questions. I didn't think you could reverse the image, so I haven't been doing it. But now that I know you can, uh, I'll be doing this periodically. Anybody that's interested, you can always reach me at uh, my website is gansdental.com, G-A-N-Z-D-E-N-T-A-L.com. There's email, phone numbers. If you ever want to give me a buzz, I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, all you have to do is ask. Uh, if anybody has a question, I'll, I'll certainly answer it now. You're very welcome. Any other questions? I don't want to bore people, so I'm going to keep these things relatively short. So if there's any other questions, you know, when it's, I guess there's some interest in periodontal disease and orthodontics. So if anybody has any suggestions you know, or any questions, please ask. Uh, I see we still have eight or nine people on. If uh, there's no other questions, then uh, what we'll do is maybe cut this short. And uh, I'll try to do this maybe once a day. You know, I'm in my office all the time, and I always have free time. Uh, we w just went through a lengthy course on bracing with my teenage son. You are spot on. Thanks so much. Yeah, braces, uh, you know, orthodontics is an extremely important um, modality. Uh, very important. You want, and not only because of the fact that uh, it helps, you know, chewing and uh, cosmetics, but many or very often people with chronic headaches and TMJ pain, you know, TMJ is your joint, people with those kinds of head, chronic headaches, uh, tinnitus, people with migraines, very often that's caused by your bite. Because if your teeth aren't lined up correctly, the muscles of the head and neck don't function bilaterally evenly. And if muscles don't work evenly, those muscles can start to hurt. The ones that are working harder start to hurt. If they start to hurt, that can give you chronic headaches, 
It can uh, cause uh, grinding and clenching. It can cause, cause uh, problems with your temporal mandibular joint. So if you are experiencing chronic long-term headaches that just can't be treated any other way, you've looked at neurologists, you've gone to ENT, you know, those the throat doctors, it may be your bite. And orthodontics may be one of the things that you need. We do it all the time. We treat people with chronic pain. It's one of the things we do here in Garden City. And uh, when you treat people with chronic pain, we, we almost routinely see that. It changed give facial structure and appearance. I'm not sure what that question means. It changed. Um, I'm not sure what that means. You know, oh, it changed your son's appearance. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. And that very often, once again, sometimes it has to do with growth and development. Depends on when the orthodontics started. Uh, but very often that's, that relates to growth and development. It also relates to, you know, what the teeth look like in the beginning. Not knowing what your son's teeth look like, it's, got, it's hard to comment on it. But sure, orthodontics is definitely a cosmetic uh, a treatment, no question about it. And people's facial face changes. You know, the smile changes, the, the display of teeth. Uh, a lot of things change. Lip support. All of that happens. Uh, he's much handsome. I'm sure he was handsome before. So, um, but that's great. I'm glad it worked out. Uh, I see it. there's only a couple of people left, so I don't know how to cancel this. We're going to try to cancel it. Uh, somebody just joined. So if there's any questions, let me know. Anything else you'd like to know about orthodontics? Maybe we can talk about that or uh, chronic headaches, uh, chronic pain, TMJ treatment. You know, I'm happy to chat with you about it. Actually, I'm waiting for someone to come in for an interview, so I still have about an hour. So I can actually stay on here forever. And I, as you can see, I have no problem talking. Uh, there's only a couple of people still left. But um, anyway, this has been fun. I like doing this. So we're going to do this more often. Uh, thanks, everybody, for staying on. Thanks for listening. Uh, once again, if you want to go on, you can go to, uh, you know, uh, you can go to my website. It's gansdental.com, G-A-N-Z-D-E-N-T-A-L.com. Leave me a message. Uh, there's a uh, there's contact list. There's all kinds of stuff there and a wealth of information. So if um, you or anybody else needs information on almost any topic on dentistry, I tried to put a lot of information up there. Feel free to use it, and I'd love to get some comments. We'll check back with you soon. I don't know how to turn this off, so uh, I'm going to be poking on my screen, but because uh, I don't know how to turn it off. Swipe down to stop. Okay, so that's how you do it. All right, so I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll check you next time.